this video, I would like to help you play the song uh, Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift. And one of the things that I like about the song, and if you haven't heard or you don't know, uh, check the story behind why is Taylor Swift remaking some of her songs. It has to do with uh, copyright and the fact that she sold the masters of her recordings to someone else, or I guess agreed to have someone else uh, own them. And then she's remaking this so she can actually have, again, the opportunity to be able to perform the songs and use them uh, herself. But it's a very interesting story of the music industry, a very interesting story of like, be careful what you sign, because later on it can come back and almost like haunt uh, your ability to, to f move your career forward. But I really like it as a song. I think it's a song that has a very minimal piano part, but a very cool piano part. So let's go there back to uh, close up so I can show you a couple of things. Uh, in my tutorials, I'll tell people we try to make some accommodations for students that are young. So, and for students that are starting out, so everyone can play this. Uh, one of the first things that I like to, to mention is I like to share a lot of tips of how to practice this. Here, uh, the first uh, pattern is fairly simple. This is the, the beginning and the verse. And I'm changing things up a little bit, especially because I almost feel like this will be like a live version. Th this part has, uh, the song has multiple parts. And you, of course, you don't have uh, six hands to be able to play them all. So first thing, uh, D and F, D flat and F. Uh, I would do them with fingers one and two. Then I'm using a sustain pedal to add uh, another note uh, two beats after, which would be an A flat. So it will be one, two, then add the A flat. And very lightly, the next three are a little bit like dissonant, but uh, they sound pretty cool if you don't play them very loud. It's E flat, G, and A flat. And you wanna play that softly. And I will do it with fingers one, two, and four, probably depending on your age, maybe one, two, and four, or one, two, sorry, one, two, and three, or one, three, and four. Uh, so I will practice just that, one, two, then add this, and then lightly, two, three, four, one, two, then three, four. Now, uh, the left is fairly easy. By the way, let me mention that my keyboard is transposed. That means that my notes are a little bit shifted, so I don't have to like mess up too much the camera position that I normally have but the notes are technically on the left side of the piano if it wasn't transposed. So uh, include the left hand, it's a D flat, and then an E flat. Now, the first time that you do the verse, I will play it this way. The second time, there's an extra note, and I'll show it to you now. After two beats, uh, play an F on the left hand. So the first verse all the way to the first chorus is what I just showed you, but the second verse will be one, two, then. I do every two beats. So one, two, then three, four, two, three, four. That will be for the second verse. So important for me to, to mention when we, when we do these tutorials, definitely practice slowly. Maybe it's good to press pause, just practice that, and then come back to the next section, which I'll go ahead and, and show it to you because I think it's, uh, it's a cool section as well. Here, once again, I made some changes to make sure that people that are starting out can play it. I, there's a couple of things, and I'll mention them to you at the end but I think you can probably play them this way. I will start with just the left. It's a little bit harder because it has some jumping. So A flat and E flat, and figures five and one, then E flat and B flat, then B flat and F, and then D flat and A flat. That's a cycle, you're gonna keep playing those chords. One thing that I would say is, uh, I tell my students, try to aim with one finger. So it's almost think of like, okay, where do I need my pinky? On A flat for the first one, on E flat for the second one, B flat for the third one and on D flat for the fourth one. So maybe that would allow you to not have to like almost shift too much in your mind. And of course the other finger is gonna come with it. But practice it slowly, take your time. Uh, I think it's good to not, when you move, don't shrink the position of the hand. So don't don't move and make your hand smaller and then bigger. Almost try to move it like you've had a cast because that's probably gonna allow you to play the notes a little bit easier. They're fairly the same distance to one another. So once you have that, uh, you're gonna be playing eighth notes on the right hand. And I would suggest do it with your finger three because that finger is a little bit stronger and more coordinated. So it's a, I believe, let me see, this is a eight plus, a, what is this? Eight plus, plus six. So that will be 14 notes of A flat. Now I'm using a sustain pedal once again, so it sounds very fluid instead of like you don't want that. And the last two to make it 16 will be two B flats. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once you put that together with both hands, and I'll do it slowly. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's a, it's a very cool pattern there for the chorus. Not super complicated to play it, but at the same time, one that it's a, it's a great example for what it is a, a really well put together piano part, in my opinion, uh, for using the notes, not playing a lot of notes, but still getting a really powerful effect of what the chords are and making it sound cool. On this one specifically, I would like to mention to close up, played lightly. It's uh, sometimes uh, different songs have different vibes. I think the beginning is almost, my opinion, a little bit almost like whispered. It's very like almost like subtle. So you don't want to be overpowering your chords. They're on the low part of the piano. So sometimes getting those notes to sound round and nice doesn't require a lot of uh, pushing them down hard. So keep that in mind. If you would like more information about what we do here at The Hit, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. If you find this tutorial helpful, definitely uh, consider giving us a like and subscribing. And we'll definitely would like to continue to put this content to help our students, anyone else out there that is trying to learn how to play piano. We'll definitely see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.